Hey, I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. So I'm sh I should be doing my homework from Linda. Linda McNew from Linda's Fiery Treats, but I'm not. Go figure. Look at it, in that bag of stuff, there's a chocolate primatale. And folks, I'm gonna talk about this for just a minute because it's a unique pepper, it's special. Um, so I should be doing my homework, but I gotta eat this pepper. My tolerance is down and this is the hottest pepper in the world. Now, uh, a lot of talk lately about that. Um, I can only speak from peppers I've eaten, peppers that are available to people to consume. That's how I kind of roll with it. Um, I have eaten three peppers in this past season that all are about equal in heat and how much they hurt. That's really what we're talking about is pain. Um, they all are about the same level of heat. Now they arrive differently. There's the chocolate primatale. Chris Saunders from the UK originally created this pepper by crossing a seven pot primo with a yellow fatale. Created a red pot through a chocolate pot. Here we have it. Um, the Louisiana creeper which is a pepper created by my friend, Troy Primo. An amazing pepper, super hot. It, it gets to the same level of heat, but they all arrived a little bit differently, all right? And the third one is the Omega pepper, which is from my good friend, Tom Broom. And that, these are three monster hot peppers. So, you know, you can read what you want to read and believe what you want to believe, but people in the know, know. And the, here's the thing. The Omega Pod, you can't really get your hands on right now. Tom's not releasing the seeds yet. Same thing with the Creeper. So as far as available pods, this is the hottest one you can get your hands on on the planet. And I really believe that. So I'm gonna eat that right now. Now, I don't know what the Scoville rating is, but if you have any doubt, go to any chili channel where they talk about peppers and, and just, or just Google, just search in YouTube, search chocolate primatale and just watch the videos and you hear what people say about it. It's the hottest pepper you can get your hands on right now. There's the interior of this monster pod, sinister looking. It smells very, very hot. It's just got a great burn, people. All right, the hottest pepper in the world that you can get your hands on, the chocolate primatale. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. I will tell you this, the, the end of the season pods are not as big and they're not as hot as peak season. So this pod isn't as hot as it would have been, you know, peak, the peak of the season. However, that said, it's a wicked hot pepper. Attacking my throat. Again, as I said this in the, this morning's video, there's no point in even assessing, a, you know, trying to give a, a, a non-chili head ring to this pepper. It would just be the most, it would, as far as a food item, it'd be the most traumatic thing they've ever experienced, I assure you. Chili head, this is a seven to 10, maybe eight to 10. Wicked hot. And it's still climbing. It just has a very aggressive burn. Chocolate pods burn different. They really do. Now, I was to tell you about the flavor. I was very earthy, um, a little bit bitter, a little bit floral. The bitterness in the floral faded away very quickly. Um, even now, the finish is almost nutty. But hot? Oh, forget about it. I love those chimes. I don't know some people don't like them, but. Screaming, it's still climbing, by the way. And this is an end of the season pepper. The, the winter pods are just not that hot. I mean, I shouldn't say that. They're hot, but they're not as hot as that. They, they will never, re I think they're 75% of what they, they can achieve, maybe. 
know what I'm saying? It'd be another 25% hotter than peak season, at least. But even as this sits, as it is right now, it's just a stupid hot pepper. And I and I mean this, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not even picking on the Reaper. I don't know anybody who's eaten one who doesn't say it's the hottest pepper. Everybody who's eaten a chocolate prima tala, go look at the videos. You'll say it's the hottest pepper you can get your hands on. Now the the, prim, the uh, Creeper and the Omega Pod are equally hot. These are guys that are, be, are being careful with what, how they release it and when they release it and how they're going to. So, but as far as uh, pods that you can get your hands on, they don't get hotter than this one, kids. It's the truth. I wouldn't lie to you. you. Got no skin in the game. I have no uh, dog in the fight. You know what I mean? But wow, <clears throat> it's on its way down. Here's the thing, my, my uh, and this is, if you just found the channel, my, my uh, superpower isn't the ability to eat hot stuff, although it's pretty good. My superpower is the ability to keep my composure and talk and not lose that ability, because most people, you know, I'm not knocking chili, it's just, it's just, you know what it is, it's from eating a million peppers, but most people, when they get something really hot, the thing that leaves them is clarity of thought, the ability to form sentences and be able to speak clearly. And that's, I think, the reason that makes me good at what I do is I'm able to describe the flavors and what I'm feeling uh, in a way that a lot of folks kind of can't. But don't let it fool you. I might be calm and able to communicate, but if somebody, like somebody who's not accustomed to heat or just a chili who's not, you know, isn't quite as experienced, they wouldn't be doing any talking. They'd be trying to find some way to, to kill the bird. Beautiful pepper. So listen. In the description box, you're going to see a link for uh, Linda McNew from Linda's Fiery Treats. She has peppers right now, so get your peppers. This is a really important thing. Please do me if I want. This is an important shout out. I meant to do this this morning, but I forgot. And to be really frank with you, I almost forgot again just now. Um, but I. All right, man. Uh, I want to say a big shout out to, to Anthony, Alex, Jax, and Zenon. Um, and Luke, by the way. These are all great guys. These, well, this is Luke and, and his, his crew of chili heads. But these are chili heads. So I want to say hi to you guys. Sorry I forgot this morning in the first one. But you guys are awesome. Keep, keep chasing the heat. They got a box of all kinds of great stuff right now. They're, they're getting into it. All right, so listen, I'm going to split right now. We're going to be back maybe later on for one more, maybe two more, maybe a live stream. I'm not sure. But thank you for taking the time to watch. You guys are awesome. In the description box, you're going to see a link, as I said, for Linda McNew. Check her out. She does have some pods. Right there is the pepper. Right there is the boat. Right here are challenges. And right here is pepperology. So if you're brand new at Chili's and you're really kind of excited about it, or even if you haven't eaten one yet, but you're thinking this next pepper season, the one coming up, this is your, pep this is your pod season. Click that, start watching those videos. It teaches you all about how to build your tolerance. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, this was Chase the Heat.